Okay people, so I've been growing chilies and hydroponics for a while now and I always liked the idea of aquaponics. Um, so I thought I'd build up a basic aquaponics bucket system um, and we'd give that a bash and we'll just see what sort of results we get. I haven't done this before so it could be a complete fail, um, but hey, it'll be a bit of fun anyway I figured. So um, <coughs> what I've got here is a 15 litre bucket. Um, I've got a basic little aquatic pump in there, just a smaller sort of one you can get from a pet shop. Uh, as you can see I've taken the hose and the cable outside just so I can, out the side, just so I can lift the lid off easily um, for feeding the fish in the future. Um, and that hose disconnects quite easily so you can take the whole thing away if you need to. Um, and then just plug it back in. So let's have a little look at how it operates. And plug this plug this guy in and there we go so pumps the water up from the bottom of the bucket to feed the plant in the basket there three points water squirting in looks nice not leaking anywhere so I guess it's time for me to go get some fish now all right so I'm back with some fish um, now originally I decided I wasn't going to name these guys because they're not pets they are uh, purely lab rats I guess I was thinking so while I was driving to the pet shop and I thought well since they're lab rats we could name them it'll be a little bit of fun why not so I figured since they're lab rats we could call them Pinky in the Brain um, so this is what I got obviously the pink one there is Pinky and the black one with the googly eyes is the brain and as you can see I actually ended up getting three I wasn't too sure if two was going to be enough, or three would be better, so three is probably about the maximum you can have in 15 litres. So I got that guy there as well, and I'm going to name him Rover. Uh, don't ask why, just go with it. So I will chuck these guys into their new home. If I can do this one handed. Get out, get out, get out. Nearly go. Kill Rover. Get out, Rover. There you go. So, that's the guys in their new home. Um, and I'll give them a little bit of give them a little bit of food as well, just a sprinkle. And uh, they can do what they want with that. Now. I was also thinking um, they probably need to be in there for a little while to eat some food and do some poos um, so the plants have actually got something to feed off um, so I'm probably just going to leave those guys in there for a few days um, keep an eye on it and uh, yeah just go from there once it looks like there's a bit of poos in there I'll, I'll chuck a plant in I'm really kind of just guessing but uh, we'll see what happens anyway We'll keep an eye on it and report back very soon. Alrighty, so it's been about two days. As you can see the water's a little bit greener, a little bit pooier after two days. Um, yeah, so a bit of a smell there and stuff. I think we're probably okay now to to put a plant in and see how we go. So here's one I prepared earlier. Um, it's a bubblegum seven pot I've uh, transplanted into there. And uh, we'll just plug it in, turn it on, and we'll see what happens. So the water's starting to feed into there, um, and time will tell, I guess. We'll see how we go. That's it. So now the idea behind this aquaponics, for those who don't know, um, is that the fish in there swimming around eating doing their poos the water's pumped up the pooey water which uh, feeds the plant into the roots as it filters down through the, the clay balls it also um, cleans the water filters the water out um, leaving all the poos and the nutrients from the fish for the plant to eat um, and it's just a you're running cycle really um, put this in a tunnel so it's got a bit of sun as well and uh, that should 
grow the plant by itself. Fingers crossed. So we'll see how we go and I'll keep you updated. All right, folks, we are three days later. Um, I haven't got around to uploading the video or doing anything with it because I've been a busy boy um, and winning Chili Sauce Awards. See what I did there? Mostly snuck that in. Um, so I just thought I'd do a final update before I actually get around to putting the video up. Um, so for, yeah, three days. The plant's looking healthier, you know, it's a bit more upright. It's, it looks pretty happy in three days. I'm pretty good, happy about that. Um, as far as the water goes, the water it looks cleaner, to me at least anyway. I think that's cleaner um, than it was. So all in all, seems to be going quite well. Um, to uh, keep updated, um, subscribe, obviously, um, that'd be awesome. Um, also, I will be posting um, this experiment in a, bit, in a lot more detail on um, the New Zealand Chile forums, so um, the web link for that will be on the video you'll find, or in the caption at the bottom. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.